Hey everybody, Thorgo here. Today we're going to be playing some Asheron's Call. Missed it, love it. Been uh, playing on Reef Call, the server that uh, a couple of the guys are running over there for the emulator. And we are going to run a quest today. We're going to run Rayata's Necklace, which gives you a little necklace that makes cool butterfly effects. And I'm going to do that because the server's been a little bit laggy. They've been doing a bunch of updates, so something simple, something easy. Um, I'm level 256, I am a mage with spec bail ID, my starting stats were 10, 100, 10, 10, 100, 100, uh, I've been playing for a while, um, so just going to have some fun, we do have an active allegiance here, i got uh, 729 people under me currently, um, quite a few people that have been fairly active, we're going to talk to old On Papillon, and why not, he's going to tell me about a necklace I need to go get. He says, hey, Rayda's migrations are such a beautiful mystery of nature, but where she goes, I must follow. I have moved my shrine to again be near her presence. It's unfortunate that my misfortune seems to have followed me in turn. I have a grave favor to ask you. In his jealousy, the anima Carenzi has infested the beautiful shrine I built for Rayata with his own creatures. I tried to rout them myself, but the horrid beasts nearly ripped me to pieces and ate the key to my chest until my shrine is cleansed of his defiling presence Rayata will not return I locked my amulet inside my chest if you bring it to me as proof that you have driven Karenzi away I will reward you with the title of Karenzi Slayer uh, side note uh, titles don't work in the emulator yet follow Volcana's riverbanks to the south and you'll find my shrine incidentally I would be careful going past my old grotto if I were you. A motley group of Hia have moved in and made the place their own. They had an interesting looking chest with them, but I was in too much of a hurry to follow Rayata on her migration to inquire further. Alright, so we're going to run, it's like right over here, right next to us. So we are going to go down into this little dungeon. There should be, I'm going to turn off some of this stuff. There should be a bunch of Hia right at the entrance I think we go in the shrine I don't remember I, I haven't done this in probably like 15 years but it sounded fun so I'm gonna do it oh, it's just a currency uh, these are all gonna be like baby level guys what level is this guy nothing oops uh, level two yeah so it's it, they're, they're all it's all gonna be really easy um, that nothing's gonna be able to hit me I just thought it'd be cool to get it all right uh, so this says, from the drop, make your way southeast through the metal doors into a large misty room. Metal doors into a large misty room. Look at that. Ignore the side rooms and go straight south down the ramp. Mm, straight south down the ramp. And then uh, the side rooms are all full of currency dead pouchling guys. Either go left or right at the split and end up in a large room with Karenzi sentries, Karenzi pouchlings, and a chest. So just loop it around, I guess. And you can see here what I'm talking about with the lag. It's pretty rough. Um, I guess we just loop it right around until we get to the, to the dingle. Going down. Is this it? Oh, it's like right here. I think this is the end of the quest. All right, cool. <laughs> we'll go ahead and kill these. I think one of them drops a uh, key. So I'll, I'll let them do that. Yeah, you can see. Oh, gosh, he's yelling so loud. Look at that was much. <laughs> he's oh, they're screaming so much, little buddies. Poor little guy. Sorry, the uh, Karenzi screams. Yeah, why aren't you just doing like the fastest cast ever? You see the little butterflies? That's what the necklace will be like when we get it. Alright, so now we look for a key. One of these little dinguses is gonna have oh, this is gonna be annoying with the lag. That's no, not too bad. Alright. Key fella. I think the pouch things are gonna have it's gonna be one of these sentries. Okay, there we go. Easy peasy. That. Take this guy, open her up. And we got the broken necklace. So now we go back to the dang surface portal to run two feet away and we 
should be good. And it was like right next to where we were, right before this. That guy. Right here. Really didn't need to click that, but eh, it's helpful. We're gonna give him the necklace and we're done. I think that I mean I think that was it. Super duper super duper quick and easy. This is Blue Spire, by the way. Uh, the Blue Spire drops like right over there. And it's lagging to heck. I just like to not rubber band every five seconds. Charlize Theron, I hear you and I agree with you. See that? Like how bad it is. But something like this, fun still. I, it's a problem with their uh, network service, less they said, so we'll see. And then maybe a bug in the code. Who knows? We're going to find out. Let's see what he says. Boom. I'm so happy. It is the wrong icon, but it does work. Oh, you know what this means. You just tap one a million times. Oh, it's so beautiful. So beautiful. Look at me go, Dad. I did it. All the butterflies. And they run with you, too. It's so great. Look at them. They're so pretty. <laughs> I love it. It's so pointless, but I do love it. Uh, it is the wrong icon, side note. Uh, that's not right. But, eh, you know, whatever. Let's go, to, let's go to MP and cast it. And then we're done. Just because, you know what I mean? Why not? We're gonna put on our stave of palinqua, which is one of my favorite weapons in the game, for stylization. No, it's not really that great of an actual weapon, but it looks really cool. When tailoring's a thing, this will be every single one I own. I'm gonna just repeatedly do this quest. But tailoring is not quite in yet. And then let's Go guys. <laughs> I love it. It's so funny. Alright, well hey, it's been uh, it's been Thwargle. It's been a super easy silly quest. Tweak is crazy, and uh I'll see you next time. Bye!